नमस्ते हेलो एवरीवन विशिंग ऑल अ वेरी हैप्पी मकर संक्रांति एंड आई एम देवी दत्ता महांती एंड टुडे आई ब्रिंग यू अ वेरी हार्ट वार्मिंग स्टोरी विद अ ब्यूटीफुल मैसेज इन इट देर वॉज अ ह्यूज मैंगो ट्री एंड इन दैट मैंगो ट्री ऑन वन ऑफ इट्स ब्रांच देर वॉज अ नेस्ट ऑफ अ pigeon family and in that nest there were three members father pigeon mother pigeon and a baby pigeon so that little baby pigeon was born few weeks ago and it was not developed or grown into an adult pigeon his wings were not developed and he was totally dependent on his parents so every day his parents left the nest in search of food and they used to bring back some food in the late evening or maybe in the late afternoon so that little pigeon was excited to fly one day high in the sky and it eagerly waited for those moments to come when he would also fly along with his parents and that day same routine happened his parents left for the day in search of food and he looked towards the sky watching them leaving the nest for the day that day was a sunny and bright day the sky was clear and what did he see he saw beautiful colorful vibrant kites all over the sky and he was so excited wow so many colors so many shapes and the sky looked so beautiful and he was gazing at the sky and was enjoying that day he was very happy and excited there was mirth celebration all around him and he could feel it too but all of a sudden he could hear a painful voice a painful and hurt being the the voice had so much pain in it and he was disturbed from where is that painful voice coming from and he looked around and then he saw another pigeon was being entangled from the thread of the kite and was shouting out of pain his wings were half broken and that bird was in blood and his voice was completely lost in the mirth and celebration all around that baby little pigeon who was very excited and happy since morning all his excitement and happiness were freezed out he was sad helpless restless trying to help that baby little pigeon but what he can do he did not know how to fly his wings were not developed and even if he knew how to fly he would not been would he would have not been able to free that pigeon from the entangled threads and when he was watching that pigeon he saw after some times that wings were completely broken and that pe- that pigeon fell from the sky with a thud on the ground and died in just few moments out of pain and being hurt so badly he was very sad restless and started worrying for his own parents because his parents had also gone out in search of food and there were all kites all around and he was too anticipating the same fate that this pigeon have received so he was waiting for his pains to come back and he was looking around here and there to have the sight of his pains 
but there was no sign neither of his father nor of his mother and it was going to be evening and he was now very worried that thinking that his parents are also dead and then when he was looking around he saw his father coming back towards the nest he was happy for a moment that finally he was able to see one of his parents at least and when he saw his father closely and when he was about to reach the nest he saw his wings were completely damaged and he was flying with lot of difficulties and was trying to come to that nest somehow the moment the father pigeon reached the nest he gave whatever little food that he had in his beak to the baby little pigeon and said one thing my dear never ever fly on this day i'm sorry your mother could not make it your mother's wing were completely her wings were completely damaged she was hurt badly and she died out of pain on hearing this the baby little pigeon was very sad and he started crying and on saying this the father pigeon also fell from the nest and with a thud reached the ground and died too so in just few moments that baby little pigeon was orphaned he had no one to take care he was all alone in this world and he started he cried the whole day now that baby little pigeon has grown into a parent pigeon and today as usual one day of the year today again it's makar sankranti and he's afraid to fly back in the sky to bring some food for his own children his children were crying for food and were asking food from that parent pigeon but he did not dare to fly for food because he did not want his children to be orphaned like him and left all alone to take care of himself all by himself so this story is offering a very important message to all of us let us live happily and peacefully and also allow others to live peacefully and happily pigeons might be a very little creature but they too have father mother and little kids to be taken care of this is a sheer story but the real statistics say that hundreds of birds are being killed every year in gujarat and several other places on makar sankranti on this day when kites are being uh, flying when we fly kites in the sky so let's take a pledge not to hurt anyone and fly kites only in those areas where we think that birds are not inhabiting not in the areas where there are trees there are more trees or where several birds are inhabiting fly kites in open area in open fields where the chances of hurting birds or hurting anyone will be very less so wishing you all a very happy makar sankranti and let's take a pledge on this day to make fun without hurting anyone thank you everyone namaste